Today, we will talk about candles. On your journey to becoming a day trader or swing trader, one of the first things you need to understand is the candle. The crazy thing about candles is that you only need to learn them once. The same principles in stock trading are used for cryptocurrency and forex trading. So, if you ever need to try out another market, this knowledge will serve you. This is a typical candlestick. We have the body and the shadow. The line at the top and the bottom of the candle is referred to as the shadow. It is also called a candle wick. I will tell you my experience with candles. Unlike most people, I did not attend a conventional high school. I attended a Catholic seminary. Educationally, it was the same as other high schools, just with a sprinkle of learning the Latin language. I knew you are like, oh, Latin, Latina, Latino, nope, no. Don't do that. We were taught the ancient Latin language. The teacher told us in the first lecture that Latin was the language of the dead. Who thought it was a great idea to teach kids the language of the dead? Anyways, to the point of the story. Because it was a Catholic seminary, we prayed a lot. And we were around candles a lot. I mean all sizes of candles. If you use candles regularly, you will know how hard it is to keep them from breaking. And when candles break, you will have this annoying wick at the bottom and top just like candles used in trading. As the day begins, traders all over start to buy and sell stocks. When most traders are buying stocks, the price goes up. And when most traders are selling stocks, the price goes down. This is the same principles for cryptocurrency, forex, gold, and other exchange. This is the reason the price changes all through the day. So the shadow or week of our candle tells us how high the price went for that day or how low it traded that day. The upper shadow or week shows that the price was that high that day while the lower shadow or week tells us it was that low. Simple, right? To the body of the candle, we have two simple explanations. When the candle is red, it means the price started that day at the top and closed the day at the bottom. Just like you eat your ice cream or drink tea. You do not eat your ice cream from the bottom, except the ice cycle. You always start from the top. So, looking at a real example, it means that when the day began, this stock price started trading from this point. And during that same period, it went as high as this shadow or week. And some traders sold, which pushed the price as low as this shadow or week. And finally, the price for the day closed at this point the bottom. This is for the red candle. Now the second explanation for the body of the candle is for the green or white candle. They are the opposite of the red candle. The shadow or wick works the same way but the difference is at the body of the candle. For the green or white candles, the day's opening price is at the bottom of the candle and the closing price is at the top of the candle. Just like when you drink coca-cola with a straw, you do not use the straw to drink from the top like a cultist. No, you dip that straw into the drink to sit at the bottom. Then, you gently start sipping from the bottom up. You might be wondering why some candles are long and others short. It is quite simple. Short candles simply mean the opening price and the closing price for the day are not far apart. Maybe the price moves from 8.2 to 8.6 or 8.6 to 8.2. Long candles, on the other hand, mean that the opening price and closing price are far apart. Like the price moves from 8 to 9 or 9 to 8. Let us look at examples here. I am using the Market Screener website. You can use any stock website that has charts. We will be looking at United Bank for Africa stocks. Each candle here represents a day. The red candles mean we had more traders who sold that day, while the green candles mean we had more traders who bought that day. For the red candles, the price started the day up here and closed the day down here. For the green candles, the price started the day down here and closed the day up here. For this candle with just a line as a body, it means the price started at 8.10 and closed at 810. Nobody won that day. The buyers and sellers matched themselves. 
Does that mean nobody made money? Since the price remained the same at opening and closing, people made money. We can tell from the shadow. The price opened at 810, but during the course of the day, the price went as low as 760, then eventually closed at 810 again. Some traders made 0.50 that day. A 6.2% growth when the opening and closing price remained the same. Neat. The candle the next day looks slightly different. It opened and closed the day at 8.20. But you might ask, the previous day closed at 8.10. Why is the following day opening at 8.20? There is an auction that takes place every day before the market opens. This is where the price for each day is decided. This process involves matching orders and having the average price become the new opening price. The opening and closing price remained 8.20 for this day, but the price went as high as 8.30 and as low as 8.05 that same day. So there was money to be made. The next day's candle is slightly different. The price opens at 8.20 but closes at 8.55. There was no shadow a week because the lowest price for the day was the opening price while the highest price for the day was the closing price. We get shadows and weeks when the lowest price for the day is not the opening price or when the highest price for the day is not the closing price, or vice versa. The next candle is different. The price opens at 8.50. It went as high as 8.60 that same day before closing at 8.40. This candle over here is slightly different. The price opens at 8.25. It went as low as 8.20 that day and as high as 8.40 before closing at 8.35. I hope you are getting familiar with candles. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section below. You can also rewatch this video anytime you need to clarify any detail. If you like, smash the like button. Remember to subscribe. Cheers.